All right, just a quick little monologue on the whole fact of the transgender ideology never being satisfied with anything. And what do I mean by that? Well, the recent example I showed in one of my videos was the fact that Target, uh, despite going full in on the whole LGBT ideology, uh, just simply pulled back some of their gay pride merchandise, and that was enough to get the bomb threats from LGBT terrorists in the LGBT lobby. And this ties into the fact that, you know, and this is not the only example of that happening. Uh, there was one instance where Disney apparently did something where they, they did something that apparently had hurt some kind of sentiments within the gay community, and that was enough to get them accused of homophobia. You know, it, it's, it's a bunch of insanity, but it goes to show that uh, no matter how much you try to pander to the sodomites, to the homosexuality lobby, uh, they're never going to be satisfied. They're always, they, like, like, basically the Bible talks about them being implacable in Romans 1. And that's pretty much the accurate statement. They're never satisfied. They're implacable. No matter how much you do for them, no matter how much you pander, no matter how much, you know, you, you show support for their agenda, they're never going to be satisfied. The moment you have any kind of slight thing they perceive as, as a, some kind of indiscretion against them, uh, they're going to go full in and send you all kinds of just nasty messages and all kinds of threats and everything else. Because what? It's a lobby of terrorism. Okay, the LGBT lobby, it is terroristic in nature. And this is the problem when you try to pander. Because, see, it was originally, we wanted to basically do our thing in the bedroom to consensual adults. To now, we want to force this upon your kids and basically have the state come in and take them away if you don't. You know, essentially, it went from two consensual adults doing the thing in the bedroom to now forcing it upon everybody else. That's what it went down to. And not just not just in the Western world, but we also want to import this upon other countries like in Africa or Asia and, and basically force them to legalize it as well. Because it's not enough for our society to just go full in and accept it. We gotta go force everybody else to accept it too. And and even in this society, in Western society, uh, they still act like there's some kind of threat and an oppressed minority. Even when you have every single corporation post you know, homosexual pride flags every 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 pride month. Uh, they have a whole month dedicated to them, by the way. The, the, the government, you know, you got uh, senile Joe Biden going full in, supporting their agenda, and yet they still act like there's some kind of threat and an oppressed minority. Why? Because they're implacable. They're never satisfied. They're, they're never able to be pleased, uh, no matter how much you try. That's why it's pointless to try to satisfy the perversion uh, agenda of the homosexuality lobby. Because it's never, it's, it's always, they always want more and more and more and more and more. And whenever you pull back the slightest way, they just go full in and basically turn into Muslims, pretty much. So I wanted to point that out. Uh, don't be deceived by this idea idea that, oh, you know, uh, it's basically just two consenting adults doing what they want to do. No, it's actually not. That that was just the, the, the uh, deception. They want to force everybody to accept it. They want to force it by the arm of the state. It went from basically, we want to do our thing in the bedroom to now, you must wear the pride armband or else we're going to basically ruin your life, you know? So anyway, I wanted to point that out. Don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.